Greetings, Guardians, and welcome to the Voices of the Vanguard. They have with me Sully from Sully Games. Say hello, Sully. Hello, Guardians. And I am your host, Thomas, from Gameplay Stuff, and today we're going to be talking about you Destiny! Are... No. What? No. We haven't talked about no. Destiny. No. I thought we were talking about Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, but today, let me pull up the topics here. Uh, we're going to be Not talking about lot. what we've been doing in the world of Destiny. Also, what content we're going to miss the most when it goes bye-bye in November. And then we'll talk about the TWAB and uh, all the good stuff in there. The sad one. And sad stuff in there. Yeah. A lot of sad stuff. Uh, a lot of good stuff. So, so, what have you been doing in the world of Destiny? Uh, Crucible. In Crucible. Every it's week, man. Crucible. Crucible, 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 Crucible. Yeah, I've just been trying to get better at Crucible. Got that KD up now to like a 1.05. Getting close to, I think, a 1.06, so. I don't know why you're Getting not good. you're not doing any uh, comp. Uh, I think this weekend I will. Because that's literally the only so. like you, you you already have Redrix, right? Like you've already done that stuff. Yeah, no, I'm literally just like just playing like Crucible just to get like better at Crucible. Mm. So I I play a lot of Rumble because Rumble I think is like one of the better game modes to like really work on like one v ones. And then which will people. translate into comp. So, uh, but yeah, I think this weekend I will play a little bit of comp and just see how that goes. Um, I feel pretty comfortable now <clears> with hand <throat> cannons and snipers. I've been popping off with them for a while, so I think yeah, I think probably Saturday night might play some comp. I don't know what I'll do Friday. Maybe some comp on Friday too. And on Sunday, we have uh, Niobe Labs with you and uh, Jay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I got some reading for you guys to read up on. Nice. Homework. Some homework. <laughs> thought <laughs> I was done didn't. with this BS. <laughs> never done with homework, dude. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know what I've been doing. I haven't been doing much this week. I got the... I got the uh, the lens done, all that stuff. Because uh, the last time we did this, we actually did it over the weekend. And that's usually when I play yeah. the, the most, anyways, is over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess this week I just ran a bunch of uh, a pits because I realized that you get six enhancement prisms for every masterwork item that you dismantle. Mm -hmm. So I figured, what the hell, let's go <laughs> get some free enhancement prisms. Uh, so that's really good. Um, yeah, not a whole lot else other than that. Grinding up my bright dust. I'm going to get that ghost with the hat, like the mage hat. Oh, I was, I was like, which hat? Are you talking about the cowboy hat? No, the mage oh, hat. It looks really cool. It's got a spider on the end of it. It's really neat. Oh. Yeah. Sounds neat. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, so that's that's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh um, Hidden came back. Yeah, Hidden yeah. from our clan, Hidden Lion came back. And we ran yeah, a crown of cool. sorrow with them uh yesterday. That was pretty fun. Crown. Like it was pretty crown. easy until the end for Love some the reason. In the drink. I think uh like I don't want to blame it on anybody, but I think Aldrin was screwing around too much and so <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> Not all never dream. screws around, right? No. But anyways, it took us longer than it should have, but we got it done. Uh, all right. So what? Uh, what's uh, what's up here? What content are we going to miss the most? So speaking of content, we're going to miss the most. Crown of Sorrow. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that's probably number one for me. <laughs> to be honest, I do. I love that raid. That raid's so much fun. Uh, it's not like. I don't think by any means like it's not the best raid in the game. I think Last Wish is better. Uh, I'd even maybe even say Garden of Salvation is better mm. than Crown, but Crown is just it's a really fun raid, and it's a fun raid to teach if you have the patience. Because those last two encounters, whew, talk about some uh, 
chaos. Uh, yeah, it's it's just all about controlled chaos. I I really enjoy that one. It took yeah. a while to get it down, but once you get it down, and uh, you have an experienced team running it, it just feels really cool. It's like a uh, car in motion, you know. It's just going really well, mm-hmm. handles really well. Um, yeah. That jumping puzzle, though. Uh, yeah, the jumping puzzle. I actually did it. Oh, flawless. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I actually did it this time. I initiated. <laughs> I've okay. So like the first time we used to run it, I used to be one of the point guys, and then I just got lazy, and I was like, "Uh, eh, let other people do it," you know. And I'm like, you're right. probably thinking, "Oh shit, Sully's not here. I'm actually gonna have to do something." <laughs> no, it was fun. Um, yeah. What what else were you gonna miss from uh D two? Ah. I just think Leviathan do the raid. Like, even though, like, I I feel like that was just kind of like a very eh raid. Like, it it it's it's still like a nice raid to boot up and be like, oh, like brings back a little bit of memories on when D two first launched and stuff. And it it's a good opening raid for people who are like beginners yeah that was um, my first raid was um leviathan and uh i have a lot of memories tied to that i think it's just a good raid to run new people through like people have never run a raid it before is. just because it, it shows that you need teamwork and it, it mm-hmm. splits off every single section into like its own room basically so you kind of yeah and you're able to like, like you're really able to also kind of like control that raid too so like if you have a bunch of like new people that like either one don't understand raiding yet like you're able to like really like just like hold their hand like there's so many different like easy jobs for them to do to where like they don't really have to like worry about doing the mechanics but like they can at least visualize everything that's going on and kind of like get a grasp on like how Leviathan works in general, and just like on how raids work in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, so yeah, it, that's a good teaching raid. So, like, I'll be sad to see that go. Could care less about Eater and Spire, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. Eater and Spire, not really, not really missing much there, honestly. Um, no. Hidden Lions in our chat, he says he misses Cade 6 still. So. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been gone for what a year, two years now. It will be it's two years now. Wow, it feels like yesterday. Over two years. Still the best expansion in my well campaign in Destiny, in my opinion, was Forsaken. Yeah, uh, good thing we're not missing out on the Dreaming City. That's staying. Same with Tangled Shore. Um, I'm gonna miss Asher and Mir. In the Pyramidian? No. Yep. No. What lake? There's no pit in the Pyramidian. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to miss him. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be so happy when he leaves. I'm not going to miss that Titan Strike, though. That dialogue. Which one? Went in with the squad of nine. Got picked off. Oh, my one. gosh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know with the squad of nine? My best friend. Like, what? Like, you got people over here soloing raids, and you're going in on this strike, and you can't do it with nine people? Gosh. <laughs> we really are the glue to the last city. I know, right? What would they do without us? I don't know. Well, I mean, they would be fine probably without a few of us, but... Some um, of us? We got, yeah, we gotta stay. Yeah, uh, Leviathan uh, is number one for me, for sure. Number one for you? <clears throat> Yeah, man, I love Levi- like the Prestige Leviathan really? is my favorite raid. Yeah, I guess you you do really like Prestige a lot. Yeah, for that, uh, I used to run it all the time. Um, yeah, I just like the way like there's no, there's nothing else like Prestige in the game because it, it switches up the mechanics of each encounter. Yeah, th- <clears throat> see, and that's what like I wish there's more stuff like that, like that hard mode or something that can. You yeah, cause, yeah on. that's originally on how it used to kind of be. Like, so, like, Prestige back in D1, like, were just 
it was just tougher. And then, like, you didn't have, like, if you died, you were dead. Um, and I would rather just see them kind of go back with that. Like, I really like the idea, like, on, like, at least changing the mechanics a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Like, idea. for Prestige. I do not like the locked loadouts. That is, that's horrible, in my opinion. That's only for, uh, the Reader and yeah, the uh, Spire. Yeah. So, I, I just... Also, Arsenal, like, I, like, like little things like that I'm not a big fan of. Prism. Um, but, like, I, I prefer yeah. having the, uh... I, I mean, I'm okay with... And, like... Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with having the mods. I, I wouldn't want... I would rather them not be there. But if you're gonna have the mods, like, let me at least still have, like, a decent loadout. Imagine doing so, a Raider Blackout just... on. God. <laughs> Be so much fun. <laughs> um, uh, so I really do kind of hope uh, in Beyond Light they kind of take the next step uh, in terms of like fixing raids in terms of like prestige modes because correct Levi or not Leviathan Last Wish and Garden didn't have one correct no. Uh, I mean, they had challenges, but that wasn't anything. So I kind of hope we see, like, a prestige mode come back in the world of Destiny. Um, mm -hmm. But I keep rambling on about prestige modes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so speaking of uh, raids, uh, let's get into the TWAB. The TWAB! So this TWAB is all about the uh, the raid for uh, Beyond Light. Yes, sir. And it looks like it's going to be launching November twenty first at ten a.m. Pacific, so one p.m. Eastern. Yep, I'll be ready. That's a Saturday. It is. Are you going to be ready? I will be ready. Okay. I got three weeks off. I'll be ready. Nice. Uh, I probably won't be taking any time off. I'll, I'll be good. Yeah, honestly, I was a little surprised about November 21st, to be honest. You think it's too much time? It's only like a yeah. week and three days. <clears throat> but then again, it, it doesn't really matter with contest mode. So, so yeah, uh, they won't be counting your artifact flight. It'll only be gear score. And it caps at 1230. Yeah. So. So, like, I can kind of, I mean, it kind of makes sense in a way. Um, just because of, like, it does allow people to kind of, like, get the expansion and play it and kind of, like, get ready for it. So, like, I, the date makes sense. In terms for Bungie, I was just a little surprised it wasn't going to be the Saturday after Beyond Light release. I feel like that's just, I feel like that's just uh, it's too soon, man. Mm -hmm. like the game just launch, like but, it launches, and then like what three days later, you take, like, yeah, you better be ready for the raid. Yeah, I, I I think this is better just because it allows regular people to also try and experience it as well. Mm -hmm. Um. I bet for some people, <laughs> a week is uh, not long enough for them. But you know what? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a ra it's a world first raid race. It's supposed to be made yeah. for people that are interested in trying. Well, it. that's what like I thought was kind of like because like it is allowing it a little, I think, too much time for like the high end people, like. Because, I mean, they're going to literally have everything down to a science by then. Well, it, I mean, they're, they typically they're, already almost their do. Their power isn't going to matter. No, but what I'm going to talk about is, like, more of, like, strats and stuff, you know? But you don't know what the rate is have. like. No, but, like, just in stern, like, stats and, like, what loadout's probably going to be more efficient. For like either ad clearing. I mean, the DPS. top end people will probably already have their raid gear set. So, yeah. Unless they're going to use new mods, 
But even then, I don't like the top tier people are insane people that are gonna have everything ready no matter what day it is. You True. know? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. And then, when does Cyberpunk release? Uh twelfth. The twelfth? Pretty sure it's the twelfth. Cause like that was another thing I was thinking it was releasing like the day after something cyberpunk. Oh, November nineteenth. Wow, weird. Yeah, so that was like another thing where I was just like just because of like how everything's kind of just re- literally releasing back to back to back. Well, yeah. That I would figure they were just going to try to, like, get it out of the way type thing. But I, either way, I mean, I'm cool with it because, I mean, as I said, I have all my vacation saved up. So, like, I'm going to be just chilling and nerding out for three weeks playing the hell out of video games, playing a lot of Destiny, and hopefully get this, uh, Right done on day one. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we can do that. We got we got to think smarter, not harder. Oh yeah, always, always. I think we were just too stupid to realize we could just go and visit. I mean, it was that section. a lot of us is like first time, like doing a day one, ra- like just like it's especially with uh contest mode, like on like uh. Chemistry is like such a big thing when you're doing these raids at the beginning. So, but the biggest thing when going looking back at the uh, Garner Salvation raid was none of us lost our temper. Uh. Like, I mean, we got frustrated, but like, we kept going back at it. Like, type yeah, deal. I guess there so. was it, like, there wasn't like some type of just like did the first encounter for what five hours something like that nah, i don't remember <laughs> so it was wild god i think this one will be a lot smoother so yeah, i'm hopefully. pretty confident with the people that we've reached out to for this day one team all right well i'm i'm giving up on twitter at the moment because it's yeah the- twitter's down it's dead this is broken I can't post, but it's back up. Uh, okay. What else do we have about this raid race? Anything else? Or is that it? Uh, it's twelve thirty. Is what it's going to be capped at, at contest mode. Uh, that which is twenty below the actual power for each encounter. Wait up. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're even at twelve thirty, you'll be pushed down twenty below whatever encounter you're in. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Uh, what do you think of the the emblems for the uh for the raids? For the, raid? uh, the purple one is okay. I like the red one a lot. Isn't that what you said last year for the other one as well? Like there was like a really ugly green one, and then there was a way better one for the. I think so. One? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like the purple so. one way more than the gardens first day. Uh, clear emblem. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's just like the little logo. I don't like. Oh, uh, the weird like yeah. digital thing. Yeah, I think the purple looks really cool and like all this stuff, but like the little digital With emblem. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I like the red one just because it feels like it's gonna be very Christmassy themed. You know, the red and white. Yeah, it, it looks just, it looks clean, too. Like, I don't know. Like, it looks like I can eat it, you know? It's like a peppermint. Or a candy cane. What? I don't know. I'm you don't want an emblem you can eat? Maybe it's no. just Maybe it's just my fat guy coming out. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but it looks very tasty. Uh... Moving on. Yeah. Tasty emblem. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, hashtag that. Um, so next up we have the, the announcements for the next generation. Uh, spe- it's not really specs, but like things that are coming for next gen. 
This will be coming it's just December 8th, I believe. Uh, and so, yeah, you'll get 4K, 60 FPS, field of view slider, faster load times, <laughs> cross-gen play. This, that's really weird. Why is it December 8th? Uh, I don't know. You figured they would have had this done right in time for the console launch? Yeah, that's kind of odd. I actually never saw it, like, the actual release date. Yeah, because um, these upgrades will be delivered on December 8th. Uh, so I wonder odd. if the, you guys, like, uh, people that are on consoles will be playing on, um, like, the older version of the game. And then once they have these updates ready, they'll do, like, the Xbox Smart Delivery or free upgrade to Destiny 2 yeah. on the PlayStation 5. Probably. But, I mean... Your ex- the Xbox Series X, God, that name's so weird. And then PlayStation Five. I mean, you're both. They're both running that resolution of 4K at 60 FPS. Plus, there's a field of field of view slider. Well, it says 4K and then also 60 FPS. I don't know if that's gonna run at 4K 60 or if that's just like 4K or 60. Um. Yeah, that is, I think it's 4K 60. It wouldn't surprise me if it was because. Now, game's like what three, four years old now. Yeah, um, and it, it also comes down like I wonder what the graphic settings are gonna actually be. Like, is it gonna be like considered like to be able to run it at four K sixty FPS? It's gonna be like low or medium to be able to run it, not like high or ultra. So yeah, and then the Series S will be ten eighty sixty, not four K. <laughs> but that's that's what the Series S is. Doesn't yeah. do 4K. Um, and also, like the biggest thing, if uh, you're a console player, which I mean, I think a majority of us are PC that probably listen to this podcast. Um, you're also gonna have to invest into a monitor slash a TV that can actually handle 60 hertz. So, like, don't like if you get a 4K monitor, make sure it's 60 hertz and not 30 hertz, because you're not gonna like really get the experience out of it because trust me there's a huge difference between 30 to 60 a huge difference yeah and you gotta make sure your tv has an hdmi 2.1 arc or whatever technology it mm-hmm. is i don't know i i don't get into that kind of stuff because i just can't be bothered and i don't have the money for it so um. yeah like i i am really interested to see like on how many people who day one you know they get their new consoles and like don't actually like get the full experience out of like their console and they don't realize that because they don't realize that their tv can't or whatever monitor they're playing on can't handle at 60 fps it's only a 30 hertz monitor slash tv Uh, so next up we have uh, something that we talked about last week was that the uh, the keys they've increased the drop rate and increased how many you get per drop. Uh, Yay! And then they talk about the ghost shell that you can buy the pin rather of the ghost shell, and then also the emblem. And then after that, I'm going to show this on stream. But uh, yes, yeah, some cool stuff. Some really cool art that you can buy. Uh, Cult of Noctis shirt looks really sick. Yeah, it does. That's something that you can buy, and someone would be like, "Oh, is that a heavy metal band?" And it's like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah." I could see that. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then I think this is the nightmare at the bottom. Yes, I believe so. Uh, yeah, th- or it, it's either it has to be. It was like a nightmare. But it, night. So I can't think because I was also thinking it could have been like the. I mean, it was still a nightmare night, but the strike from uh TTK on um. 
shoot, what's that place called? The Dreadnought. The Dreadnought. <laughs> but I can't think what his name is. Yeah, there's a bunch of knights in uh, Destiny 2 that look like this. So, mm-hmm. um, Yeah, a lot of cool art. Uh, the last one was from Gamma Trap, which if you know Mylan Games, he does all the art for Mylan Games. Yeah. Uh, some really good stuff. You can buy it in the store. I actually met Mylan. If you so uh, that's want cool. to. Yeah, how's Mylan? Good. Actually, he was at Guardian Con. Nice. Three years ago? It was whenever it was in Tampa. JD and I saw him. We were waiting in line for... I think to get pictures with Goth. And he was, like, talking to somebody, like, behind us. And, like, JD, like, turned around. And he was like, are you Mylan? He was like, yeah. He was like, oh, dude, I love your shit. <laughs> so we talked to him for a little bit. Nice. <clears throat> I think we got a picture with him. Uh, so let's talk about some of the the bug reporting going on. Uh, they sh- the first thing they talk about is the ciphers again, which uh, they say the cipher uh, decoder drop rates are not tied to enemy kills, gambit matches, forge completions, and non playlist strikes. Just a reminder. Uh. In the season preparation, Season of Arrivals will conclude at 7 p.m. Pacific on November 9th. Players will have until this time to complete any Season of Arrivals quests, activities, and triumphs before they become unavailable. Uh, some known issues, the Unbridled Enthusiasm email is missing its initial sound effect on Trigger. I think that's the, uh, is that the, the no, that's not the trump. it's not the trombone. I don't know what it is then. Uh... Here, Crystal Touch drop at 750 power from chests at the end of the Haunted Forest. The Canis Luna Hunter Vest ornament clips into certain gaunt- gauntlets. And then, movie of the week. I haven't even paid attention. And. To these movies of the week. And then, we have a final hurrah from Deej. I don't know if you want to talk about this part. Um, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm sad, because, like, I used to always look forward to, because, I mean, beforehand, like, for a lot of probably new players, like, we have typically two separate, like, community managers now that are typically always right in Twa, but it used to only be, like, Deej for, like, the first three years, I want to say, three and a half years. So I always really looked forward to, like, every Thursday having Deej, like, write up, like, whatever he had in the TWAB. Um, I've actually met the guy a few times. He was always at Guardian Con. Uh, super down-to-earth, super nice guy. Um, you definitely could tell, like, he wanted the best for this game at all times. Um, it seems like they've, like, left on good terms. Uh, obviously, he's been with the company for nine years, and sometimes you just kind of get burnt out sometimes you want to try something different <clears throat> um so it's definitely super sad to see Deej leave um but luckily we are in good hands with guys named cosmo and dmg um who've mm-hmm. been beneath Deej for like a few years now so like i don't feel like we're kind of like oh my god like Deej is leaving like what's next we at least know like hey like we already have it, because, like, Deej is kind of already, like, stepped away from, like, the community manager position. Like, I think he's, like, yeah, I think the community the, manager, like, yeah. supervisor. Yeah, something like that. So, like, he was never really, like, very vocal unless it was uh, the live streams, which he always did such a fantastic job mm-hmm. with all the live streams. He always seemed to kind of, like, help, like, developers who were never, like, really, like, on camera, make them feel comfortable. He always had his like little like one liners. Um, I'm a little worried about my uh, my warlocks now because he was always the kind of the person that we could always rely and trust to make sure warlocks were going to be OP at the start of a new expansion. And now, now this makes sense for the exotic armors. Deej is leaving, so that's why we got shafted. Thank you, Deej. Uh, but uh, I'm going to talk about a few things that he's posted here. So. He started okay. November 7th, 2011. Uh, and then also, so his last day is going to be November 6th, 2020. 
So nearly, <laughs> nearly nine years later. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, like literally a day apart. Yeah. Uh, and then also he says, like, this is a pretty good quote because it's actually relevant <laughs> to my life at the moment. Uh, always be engineering yourself out of a job or replace yourself with someone better. Um, the truest measure of success is building something that could thrive in your absence. So, uh, I think those are pretty good words of wisdom to think about. Yeah, he's always been known for those. So. Uh, but he'll be around, you know, still playing Destiny, I guess. Yeah, I mean, when you've been around something like this and help create this kind of community, um, you're not just going to, like, walk away from it yeah. completely, so... Yeah. I've only really been in the community for like what two, three years, something like that. Maybe yeah, I mean, I've been in and out of it for like a while, so yeah. Um, so. But I've always kind of kept my eye on like the Twab, and as I said, like I always enjoyed seeing what he had to say. I didn't start Thursday. reading Twabs until maybe two years ago. Really? So like, I don't have that connection I... that a lot of people might have, but mm-hmm. it's still like I still have that attachment, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I've just also meeting him like in person too was like really cool, and like he was always just like super friendly. Like, um, I remember when it was Guardian Con in like Tampa Bay, and he, we're at the fairgrounds. I believe this is where it was the fairgrounds, and like him, Cosmo. And I can't remember, there was like a developer up there and they were literally just sitting up in like the balcony area and like the bleachers and like just literally just sitting there and like there was a massive line and they were just taking pictures with everyone and like just kind of like everyone kind of got like a little small chit chat. Like obviously couldn't stay there too long because like, yeah, gotta be respectful because there's a massive line. But like, you know, every GC, uh, He's been there, and he's always been, like, very, like, friendly. Like, you could, like, always approach him and be like, hey, like, can we get a picture? Can I get your autograph? And, like, there was never, like, I'm busy type moment, like, with him. Because, like, obviously, like, they always had panels. They always had, like, their booth. But he was, like, always, like, down to do something. Like, hey, like, all right, let's, hey, free, I can take a picture with you. Like, he always seemed very giving back to the community. So. Nice. Gonna miss that. Uh, so on that sweetful note, uh, I will end the show. So, Sully, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and on Twitch at Sully underscore underscore games. And you can find me, your host Thomas, on Twitter as Cane Play Stuff. Also on Twitch as Cane Play Stuff. Uh, head on over to Zero Score on Twitch. We'll be playing Left 4 Dead 2 tonight. I forgot about that. Uh, I'll also be streaming it because I'm putting on some Halloween mods and I want to show them off. So That'll be fun. Uh, we're playing the last uh, DLC episode they had. It was recently released this year in September. They updated Left 4 Dead 2 after like eight years or something. It's crazy. Aren't they uh, the makers for Left 4 Dead? Aren't they making a new game? Uh, Well, that's the rumor. Okay. Valve doesn't make games. Come Turtle on. Rock? Was it Turtle Rock? Who was the developer? I don't know. Who was the developer? It's Valve. Sure. Valve doesn't make games, let's be honest. Uh, anyways, yeah. you can email me, Thomas at Cherishot.com. Half Life. Uh, Campo Santo made the Half Life Alex. It's their most recent Half Life. <laughs> um,. See, you threw me off. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> Visit the website, trashout.com. There's content there. Go check it out. It's good shit. Lots of, a lot of content. Uh, <laughs> hashtag content. World War 3 is live. Yep. We started World War that. 3. Uh, let's go check that out. Uh, anyways, have a good night. Uh, and eyes down, Guardians. <laughs>